So have fun. I'm going in case he's here. <laughs> this Achilles is really shocking you. Yes, yeah, so he's so caring and I don't know what else to say. So where is it again? I don't care if he doesn't take me anywhere. Just being with him is fine by me. Try to get home on time, bro. Still shy of me. There are people around. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> I love you. And I want the whole world to know about you. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Thank you. Such a wonderful day. Thank you. Yeah. But it's not over yet. Not over. Just just close those eyes. Close my eyes? Just just close those lovely eyes for a moment. <sighs> just just have them closed. Turn it around a little bit. Just turn it, turn it around. Don't open them eyes. Good, good, good. Good. Ah. <laughs> you can open them now. I like it. Like it. I love it. Thank you very much. But you're spending too much money on me. You spent so much today already. Mom, there's nothing too much to spend for my money. Mommy. Yeah, mom, mom. I love you too. Very much. Daddy. <laughs> Mom. Daddy. to be home on time. I'm sorry, Udoka. 
We got carried away and forgot the time. So, how is the lover boy? Very well, oh. Hmm. He's so wonderful. I never knew love could be so... so sweet. He's so loving. So caring. Do you know what he calls me? No. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> yes! And I call him Daddy. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Jenny, you think when they sweet, they kill too. <laughs> look, look, see. See what he bought for me today. <laughs> but Jenny, this is jewelry which you don't even wear. It's not in the worst, but in the gesture. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go and sleep. There's still work tomorrow. Oh. Yes, it's true, there's work. <sighs> So they had even given you the first notice which expired and you refused to tell me about it. Why, Daddy? I thought I could raise the money. But unfortunately, I couldn't. Everybody owing me refused to pay. Being informed that failure to comply accordingly will leave us with no option than to forcefully evict you by 12 noon on Tuesday. Today is Friday. Daddy, what are we going to do? Yes, I have no option. I'm going to sell my car. Who will buy that at short notice? from people, people I never ever imagined I could talk to. The lawyer, I went to him to beg for time. He too refused. Chair up, honey. Let me see what I can do about it by Monday. It will be all right. Now relax while I go make some really nice food. Mwah! Hello, everybody. Tell us, I just took the soup. Madame, enjoy events. <laughs> I thought your whole weekend would never end. What is it? How is Casey? Ludoka, Casey is not fine. He has a problem that has kept him moody all weekend. What kind of problem? <laughs> if we do not raise 120,000 Naira by Monday, he will be ejected from his apartment. His rent has expired. 
and he has been unable to pay. You know he has problem with his business. 120,000 Naira. That's a lot of money. Udoka, please. Can you loan me 40,000 Naira? He wanted to sell his car, but I refused. Where will I get that kind of money from? Come to think of it, you should have allowed him to sell his car. Or oh, how, how, how do you want to go about raising that kind of money? I have 50,000 Naira in my account. 20,000 Naira from my salary, which will be paid on Monday. That's 70,000 Naira, leaving a balance of 50,000 Naira. Please, Udo, help me, please. I'll pay you back. Jenny, you know that if I have, I will give you. My mother's operation is next week, and my brother is there. Of course, he has to go back to school. Mm. That's true. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Why don't you ask the manager for a loan? If I go to him, it will give him liberties. You know, he has been after me to go out with him for some time now. Maybe I'll just sell some of my gold trinkets and... Jenny! For a man? Is he worth it? Casey is not just any man. He's my love. My life. My fiancé. Jenny! Fiancé! You didn't tell me you were engaged. He proposed last night and I accepted. Congratulations. Thank you. But, but isn't it too sudden? I've known him for more than one month. He loves me and I love him. Or oh, at 29 should I continue to wait? So you're not going to send money to your father this month? No. He'll have to manage. Man, now off you. You mean you expect me to loan you money to buy a present for your girl? What's funny about that? <laughs> Man, you know, you surprised me. You behave like a stone age man. You understand that? A mugu. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean now? But man, in this day and age, nobody spends money on a woman. Why? <laughs> because why would I spend my hard earned cash on a woman when there's so many, so many that's, that are willing to do anything for a guy? You know, they're like cheap commodity. Casey. Okay, I can see you're just a bold, unrepentant chauvinist, man. Yes, I am. Listen, every handsome, modern, upwardly mobile young man like myself knows what time it is. And that means no cash for the woman. They gotta spend on me. Okay, but the other day I saw you, um, um, what was that you bought for Genevieve? Me? Spend my cash on Genevieve? <laughs> for where? It was the money I was spending. Listen, man, it is called investment. You understand that? Which kind of investment? Casey, now why, if you don't want to give me this thing, man, tell me, tell me. <laughs> this lecture I'm giving you is worth more than cash. Thank you. 
Please don't tell me you went to see Casey. Ah, ah, do guys, not that bad. Even though I'm still missing him all the same. <laughs> missing him? <laughs> you were with him all weekend. So where did you go? I went to the bank to cash my salary and withdraw some money. I told you about Casey's problem now. So how much were you able to raise? The whole 120,000 naira. How many? Sold my trinkets. Still wasn't enough, so I went to the money lenders and borrowed what was left. Jimmy Vives! Money lenders? Look, Genevieve, it's better to borrow money from Lucifer himself than to borrow money from those devils you call money lenders. I had no choice. I'll pay them back even before they agreed it. Jenny. In fact, we need to talk. I'll talk to you later. You, you won't sleep right away, okay? My, my business partners will be here any moment from now. Please, 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 please. But I told you I can remain with everyone to be home. Come on, let's not go through this again. Huh? I love you, sweetie, bye. I love you too. You understand? I look at anything you can imagine. Come on, let's go, please. Come on, let's go. Tell me still one thing, Gabby. What? That you're going to send me love tests every night until that Friday. Of course. I'm going to miss your text messages, all right? Hey, but promise me one thing. What? You're going to send the credit. I will die. That's my God. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Associates, not a couple. You know, I, I, I certainly discovered that I'm totally alone in this whole world. Nobody cares. That's not true. Daddy, I'm here, and I care very much. I know. I wasn't referring to you because I don't know you care. Also, now wipe that frown off your face. It's my turn to surprise you. And here we are, the whole hundred and twenty thousand naira. How did you get this? It doesn't matter. All that matters now is that the money is available. I, I insist. How did you get this? Well, if you insist. I didn't steal it anyway. I closed my bank account and there was 50,000 Naira there. 20,000 Naira is from my salary, which was paid today. That is 70. I'm sorry, Daddy. I've done something you may not like. What is it? I sold my gold trinkets for 20,000 Naira and borrowed 30,000 Naira from money lenders. But 
you shouldn't have. You should not have done this. No, I... I'm not going to accept it. It's just beginning of the month. How, how are you going to survive the whole month? No way. Thanks, I... Sweetheart. I will manage. I couldn't just sit back and watch you get evicted. I had to do something. If you were in my shoes, you would have done the same. Daddy, if you really, really love me, you will accept it. Please. You know, you're God's gift to me. I love you. I will always do. Forever. And you? Good day. Thank God. Uh, uh, what, what, what about my sister? Um, she went out. I saw somebody that, uh, that is going to the village now. Eh? Yeah, uh, uh, and I came to find out he... he if the message, a monthly message to Papa is ready. I don't know. Should I wait for her? I don't know when she's coming back. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Tell her. Hmm? Have fun. I don't want it to you know, look like I'm gossiping or, or pognosing. But you see, Genevieve has been my friend for a long time. And I don't want her to get into any kind of trouble. Ah. <laughs> hey, hmm. what, what is the matter? Um, I really shouldn't say more than this, but it will help a great deal if you could talk to her, you know, like a brother to a sister. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, about what? that you oh, oh, holding. Today? 
Can't it wait until tomorrow? Mba, <coughs> today. Today. Hello. Hello, Afa. What, what does he want? Says that my uncle wants to see me today. It sounded so harsh. I hope there is no problem. Well, you, you never can tell. I suggest you see him. When I finish cooking. This life, my dear daughter, is deeper than what we see. We can never come close to understanding it. What I, your elder, sees while sitting down, that you can never ever see. Even if you go to the top of the highest mountain, your mother is dead. Your father is old. And you are his first daughter. He depends a lot on you. Why are you talking like this? Hey, yo, look, hey, 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 keep quiet and uh, 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 listen. My uh, alpha is alright. It's okay. It's okay. Nigga. You will not see it. A true Igbo girl who sucked her mother's breast will not go and live with a man that is not her husband. Uncle. If it is Casey you're referring to, I'm not living with him. Who said I'm living with him? You are not living with him. But you spend more time in his house than in yours. You sleep with him and cook for him. Cooking for a man that is not your husband. Eh? Maker. Since you came to the city, even when you did not have a job, you always manage to send something to your father every month. Now see. But Uncle, he plans to marry me. We're engaged. You are not ashamed of yourself. You are engaged to a man Yet he has not even come to introduce himself officially to your family. Mega. Has he? Anyway, I am not saying that you should not marry whoever you have chosen. After all, you are old enough. What I'm saying is that things should be done properly. We are Igbos. We do not lose our sense of reasoning. Tell a wise person words of wisdom, he will learn from it. But tell a foolish person the same words, he flies into the bush. Nega, your old father is in the village. Please do not hasten his death. Uncle, he will come. Guess he will come. Go away. When? Eh? When the lizards grow hairs? That's when you will come. Eh, nobody invited you into this matter. Mind yourself. You! 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 mind yourself! Eh? Why is he paying you so much, Seth? Eh? Eh? Oh. Oh, okay. I will tell you. I will tell you. You. You and I. Me, 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 to take care of Papa. Hmm? Now you, uh, uh, you, you, you have taken all your money and given it to a man who don't even know uh, any me, 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 member of our family. Yeah? Uncle, mm, my, mm, my sister is turning to, uh, to a Lagos girl. And Papa, Papa is, is dying of uh, uh, hunger in the village. Daddy, I've finished. Are there any other things you want me to pack? I'm still checking.
What's the matter? Why are you removing my clothes? I don't want you to forget them. But I'm not going with them. Why? Why? I brought them for a reason. Or do you like it that I'm always carrying a traveling bag? I even wanted to ask for the spare key. My spare key? Yes, I need a spare key. I don't want a repeat of the other day's incident. When I came and you were not around, I was just hanging around like a visitor. True to time. Very true to time. Daddy, I... Women, I women will never do anything for you free. There are always strings attached. So because you paid for my house rent, you want to take over my entire house, huh? Daddy. No, 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 it's okay. Bring your entire house here. Take my specky. Show, show, show that yes, you own this place. I didn't want to take your money. As if I knew. Daddy. What are you talking about? I. of my clothes for oh, convenience sake you're traveling don't you want me to come and, and wash your clothes and clean the house Sorry. Okay. Listen. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I. I didn't mean it like that. Okay. I'm sorry. I. I misunderstood your intentions. Okay. Is it because I love you? I want to be close to you always. Do you know my brother and uncle? They've been calling me all sorts of names. Just because you have refused to go and formalize things. Oh God. Am I the first person to be in love? Get back from the village. I'll, I'll go and see your uncle. Thank you, Mama. How was your trip? Fine, Mama. Mama, you're Mama. looking nice. Thank you, my son. I hope you had a nice trip. Yes, Mama. Welcome. Mama. Mama. How's Oluchi? She is fine. She even came in this morning to come and help me fetch some water. Oh, that's nice. What about her parents? They are all doing fine. Hmm. I hope you've been taking your drugs. For sure, my oh, son. Okay. <laughs> hey. Mama. Hey, Mama. Hold this for me. Uh, hey! Casey, so all this is for us. should have told us you were going to buy the whole labels so that we can prepare 
to receive it properly. <laughs> Daddy, this is nothing. Um, thank you very much, sir. Thank you. My son, ma. may God bless you. Thank you, ma. May he continue to replenish your pocket. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hey. Thank you. Go and prepare good food for our in-law. Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, you can cook. Now, welcome, my son. Thank you. Hi. Oh, Luchi. Why are you to come and remove all these things? Tell you. A lot of people have indicated their desire to marry my daughter. But we chose you. Because in you, I see myself when I was your age, a successful young man living in Lagos. Because of that, I have the confidence in you that you will manage my wealth when I retire very soon. Oibo people gave a proverb that procrastination is a thief of time. Now, what are you waiting for? Daddy, I, I totally understand where you're heading to. As a matter of fact, I came fully prepared. I know that Olo should be completing her, her way come June. And that's what has been um, keeping me waiting. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm fully ready to formalize things. Um, by the grace of God, uh, my people and I will be coming tomorrow to visit you. Ah, you are coming tomorrow? Yes. That's all right. Well, um, we're not only coming tomorrow, we're coming to, uh, for our second stage. And um, the Imbanku will be in October. That is your special permission, sir. DK, good. You are a man. You are a man. Thank you, sir. You are a man. Thank you very much, sir. That gives me the time to prepare. I have a special gift for both of you. Be prepared to change your car. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Very good boy. Thank you, sir. I'm looking for Kelechi. Kelechi? Yes. He traveled. Traveled? Yes, he traveled. I overheard him telling the Mega that he was traveling. All right. Thank you. Yes, can I help you? For Kelechi. Come in. I guess your case is sister. Sister? Uh, yes, I am his sister. My name is Genevieve. I am Kemi, his girlfriend. I believe he must have told you, hasn't he? Uh, yes, he has. He says you're such a nice girl. It's my pleasure meeting you. It's my pleasure too. <laughs> wow, Case is such a funny guy. He never mentioned it to me. Well, maybe the reason never arose. Could I offer you anything to drink? Um, nothing really. Thanks all the same. I think I should be on my way now. Just tell him I was here, okay? I will. Sure you don't want anything to drink, not even water? No, thanks. Maybe some other time.
Papa, I'm ready. Neka, my daughter. What did you say, Papa? Write it. It is with pain and heavy heart. I write this letter to you. Have you written it? Yes, sir. After hearing from your own younger brother, Afam, and your uncle, Ubaka, it is and has always been my prayer that you find a good man to settle down with and that I should see and carry my grandchildren before I go to join my ancestors. But there is a proper way to do things. How can you live with a man who has not deemed it fit to meet your people? Not to talk of pay your diary. I am disappointed. And I ask myself where you could have learned such. Please, Retrace your steps and don't make me a laughing stock here in the village. Please, my daughter, please. Udoka, can you imagine this nonsense? Afam and my uncle went to tell my father that I am leaving with Casey. See the kind of letter that my father has written to me. Can you imagine this kind of thing? I am 29 and no longer a baby. I'm even lucky to see someone like Casey who is ready to marry me. Eh? Jenny. I believe you should stop and think about what they are saying. I mean, these are people that love and care for you. And 29 is not exactly that old. Not enough reason to throw yourself at a man. Udoka, you too? <sighs> yes, Jenny. I don't like the way you've been carrying on with Kessie. You've given him too much too soon. And he's too smooth for my liking. I'm sorry. I just don't want you to get hot. Udoka. Thank you. Casey loves me, and I love him. And I don't care what anybody else has to say. We are getting married. told you take your drugs regularly I, will. I don't want to hear story you huh in three weeks time I will send you some money okay, okay? Mm. save Johnny my son thank you mama but promise me that you will drive carefully of course I'm always careful mama all right okay, mama. okay. All right. Oh. Ali, you want to drive down to Lagos with him? I don't want you to go. October is just around the corner. And you and I will be together. Man and wife. Alright? Forever. Hmm? So don't, don't cry. Okay? Give that idea a pack. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> All right, I gotta go now. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. All right.
baby. Don't baby me. You didn't call me all this while. I'm so sorry, my love. Look, look, I've been so busy. As a matter of fact, I'm just coming from the village. Really? Yeah, where are you going to? Uh, just a friend's house. All right, just hop in. I'll give you a ride. Thank you. Tell me about Genevieve. Where? Genevieve? Yes, your sister. She's such a nice girl, good natured, with good on training. Honestly, she will make a good housewife. Are you looking this way? Uh, haven't you known her to be good? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, where did you meet her? Where else? Your house, of course. Yeah, I know my sister. <laughs> Very yeah. good. It's okay. All right, there we go. Unsettled. Anything the matter? No, um, must be the trick. Okay. Did anybody look for me in my absence? Uh, yes. A girl. Kemi. She says she's your girlfriend. <laughs> Kemi, my girlfriend. Of course not. She's just an ordinary friend. But she said so. Don't mind, Kemi. She's just a odd case. She has this habit of pulling people's legs. Hmm? <laughs> you don't believe me. Why? I do. Please, Daddy, be careful with all these girls. You don't know who and who they have met before coming to you. I don't, I don't want to lose you, Daddy. Please. Meaning that you, you don't believe she's not my girlfriend? I believe. All I'm saying is that if anything happens, she will not be there with us to suffer it. You know, you're so impossible. You're talking to myself. Daddy, please. Shit. Daddy, please eat your food. What, what, what is the essence of a relationship if there's no trust? Daddy, please. Don't touch me. Daddy, I believe you. Please. Hi, Joker. <laughs> yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you doing? Fine. Nice work. <laughs> you have seen us now. <laughs> You're here to see Jenny. Yeah. Uh, Buki, please help me tell Genevieve that uh, Casey's here to see her. Be right thanks, thanks, my dear. Oh, wow, the money don't land. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> you enjoy a little small. Darling. Daddy, I hope there's no problem. No, no, whatsoever. I just miss you. <laughs> and I said, let me come see my mommy. <laughs> I'd like, to, I'd like to ask you for a favor. Daddy, you know I'll do anything for you. Thank you. You see, um, there's this business deal that just came up. I... Uh, look, I need about 100,000 naira. I stand to make over a million naira. I need cash right now. You know, I don't have too much money. 
And I thought this, you know, this will have just solved all our problems. So I will have paid you back 120 grand. We'll have gone to meet your people. We'll even have enough money to take care of our traditional wedding immediately. I have 50,000 naira, but it's for the money lenders. You know it's their deadline tomorrow. See, tomorrow is the deadline, right? My money, my chance tomorrow. Tomorrow morning. You understand? We'll have enough time to give them back their money in the afternoon. And we're cool. You know? Traditional wedding. Okay. Great. Let me go and get it. Right. Hey. Mm, kiss here. Out here. Give it to me. Give it to me. Yeah, you go. I'm going to scream here. Give it you to me. I'm you. screaming. Give me the kiss. Friend here is owing us, and we have come here to collect our money now. Please, I'll pay you back. Please. I have you the money. It. I have the money. It's <laughs> listen, madam. Madam, listen. You breached the contract agreement. The agreement says that if by 12 o'clock today you are unable to pay the money you borrowed from us with all the interest, that we are free to do with you whatever we like. So we are here to maintain that contract agreement. Please, please, get inside please. there and get all please. the things back. Please, 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 supposed to mean? It was the agreement. That was what I signed. Rubbish agreement. <laughs> huh? Listen, you're going to have to take me to this place. And if I don't retrieve your property, you know that my name is not Kelechi. I'm going to give your things back. Let me get my car keys. You are standing right now. What fucking place is this? Now, do you want blood to flow? 
Uh, you know, I am. Uh, Do you want blood to flow? Uh, um, I'm sure it's fine. You're well, gentlemen. Yeah, we can. <laughs> Do you want to borrow some money now? No, I am. Um, I think we can discuss this like gentlemen. Piss off. Piss off. And uh, uh, mm, mm, Genevieve, eh? I have been to you uh, mm, mm, uh, to your place twice, and I have been trying je, 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 Genevieve's line oh, 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 all to no avail. Eh? In fact, uh, uh, your door whoa, whoa, was under here. Uh, Padlocks. Heavy padlock. You mean uh, Genevieve didn't tell you people what happened? No. Oh. 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 What, what happened? Yes. This is what, unbelievable. what happened? This is unbelievable. Genevieve didn't tell you people that the money lenders that she took money from came to the house, took all her electronics and chairs because she couldn't pay them when she was supposed to. She, she didn't tell you. Mama. Mama! Money lenders. Ma money mama, lenders. Mama, 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 money lenders. Yes. She, 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 she didn't tell me. Tell me, so, 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 I don't believe this. Are you sure? Would I lie if she did? Eh? Would I lie? But she told me that she would be coming to work from your uncle's house. Is she not? Hey. I'll give all I for the one I love. A piece of property to decorate the front seat of your car? A sex object to satisfy your animal urge? A house help to cook your meals? A steward to wash and iron and tidy your, your house? Or a harlot to dance with you at your parties? What, Kelechi? I promise that as soon as you return from the village, you go and see my uncle. Why? Kilichi, why, why are you doing this to me? Why? You know how things have been around here. You know I've not had any money since I came back from the village. Am I supposed to meet your uncle with empty hands? 
equally on the business I've been chasing all this while. So am I asking you to pay the dowry? All I ask is that you go and see my uncle. Let him know your intentions. You don't love me, Kelechi. Of course I love you. Oh, is it that you don't want to marry me? Of course I do. <laughs> you and I are as good as married. We live together. We live together, but not as man and wife. We're not married. We will be. I promise, unfailingly this weekend, we will go and see your uncle. In fact, call him and tell him I'm coming over. I will inform my uncle to, to escort me. So, it's okay. Please, please don't break my heart. I love you so much, Casey. I love you too. You know, breaking your heart would be like killing myself. Thank you, Mrs. Moore. Uh, yes. Auntie? Uh, yes. You mean uncle in the hospital? How? What kind of wala is this? How is he? I hope he's not too... What? Okay, I'll be at the hospital. Okay, Auntie. Bye bye. Oh, problem. Uh, what kind of problem? My uncle's wife just called to tell, that, tell me that my uncle has been rushed to the hospital. Which uncle of yours is that? The one that's supposed to accompany me to see your people. How? My God. Hi. Of all days, today is the day sickness knows that it will come. I don't know. So, so you. You can't go again, is that it? How can I? I mean... You know tradition. If I go there alone, they would just think I'm a joker. Alpha. Don't call me. Eh? Do, do. What is it? <laughs> do, uh, mm, don't call me. Neka. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Why have you decided to bring uh, shame uh, uh, and ridicule, uh, ridicule uh, 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 on our family? Eh? Uh, and upon, uh, 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 upon yourself? Why? Hafa, calm down. Let's go inside and discuss. No, no, no! What, what, what are we discussing? Eh? What is there to discuss? That you lost and sold your property so that you can stay with this this thing that calls himself a man. Is that what you are discussing? That you will force yourself on someone who does not love you or or have regard for where you come from? Is that what you are going to discuss? What? Oh, what is it? Mo, tell me. Is it the sweetness of his own pocket? Oh, 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 your foolishness and stu oh, 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 stupidity. No, no, tell me. Hey, hey, uh, uh, I, 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 you, oh, Mr. Man, that is, if you are truly a man. You will seize and hold captive somebody else's daughter. Afa, and... nobody's holding me captive. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Hey. Don't, don't insult me. Eh? What if I insult you? Eh? What if I insult you? What can you do? Eh? 
to attend. You know how life is in Lagos. The time and... Wait first. We have not come also to force you to start attending. An official report was brought to our meeting today concerning you. And that was why the people of Umaba mandated us to come and meet you over it. Since you have become a mountain. <laughs> I'm not a mountain. Yeah, you are not a mountain. But you never go to anybody's house. Or have you visited any one of us here? Have you? Anyway, oh, we, we can see you are married. I'm not married yet. I thought it is only married men when you go to their house, their wives present call not to uh, visit us. <laughs> You're talking about Genevieve. She's just my ordinary girlfriend. Ordinary girlfriend? <laughs> anyway, the people whom you are keeping your daughter, they brought a report in our meeting today that we should tell you to please leave their daughter alone. You should stay clear from their daughter. Oh, you mean this is why you're here? Yes. You should have asked the people that sent you here if, if their daughter is not old enough to know what is good for her. If they so much want to stop this relationship, they should, they should either tell her to stop seeing me or go call the police. Sit down, my friend. Am I your mate that you can shout at? Sit down. I'm sorry. Can it, you should be sorry for yourself. Hmm? You went to school and yet you don't have common sense. If you want to marry, why not marry the proper way? Huh? You are here making noise. <laughs> can let you. I thought they said you are already carrying wine for Maziobi's daughter in the village and that you are ready for the final traditional marriage in October. So what is the idea of keeping this girl that you will not marry? And um, gentlemen, if you are not willing to go, I'm ready to go. We have done what they asked us to do. We have delivered the message. If he knows what is good for him, he should do. If he knows how to pound, he should pound in the, in the water. If he doesn't know, he should pound on the floor. I'm going, please! Village, hey, Lagos is a strange land. Strange and mysterious things happen every day in it. Don't allow yourself to be a victim. Use your tongue to count your teeth. That's all I have to tell you. Goodbye.
Is that about your uncle? I've told you, we're going to meet him immediately. My uncle gets out of the hospital. They call you, we'll go meet your dad right after that. In the village? Yeah. But I thought we had this whole thing worked out. What have we worked out, eh, Casey? What have we worked out? When you're getting married to another girl in the village in October. Who told you that? Didn't that man out there just say it? I might be in love with you. But I'm not stupid. That man, he was just running his mouth. myself if you leave me. from each other. Since she's your fiancée. 
Yes, she is. Um... And that you plan to marry her. Why not you go ahead and marry her, rather risk abortion? Well, I intend to marry her. I will definitely marry her. But after terminating this particular pregnancy. I don't want an abortion. Why do you want her to abort the pregnancy? You see, doctor, where I come from, it is forbidden to marry a woman with pregnancy. But it is not forbidden to sleep with a girl without safety measures. Anyway, we don't perform illegal abortions here. I don't know what an abortion. Why did you terminate it? I will not. Then you must terminate it because I will not stand for this. Be prepared to put to bear the bastard because I will not play pretending to the child born out of wedlock. Just take it easy, eh? Pull yourself together. We'll talk more on this when we get home, okay? Pull yourself together, please. Look at why. Why are men like this? Is it a crime to be in love? Have I done anything bad by loving kiss? No. Just take it easy. Eh? Maybe he will change his mind. You know, and if it doesn't, we'll just no, find no, no, don't, don't say that to Doka. You know I love him. It's not my fault. Oh, is it my fault? It's not. Hello? Where? Who is it? Where is he? Okay. Okay, I'll, I'll be there. Look at God, I'm finished. Jenny, who was that? Good luck. Casey's friend said that Casey was arrested by the police and that they're taking him to a lab. To see me, oh. Why? Why is he calling you? <coughs> I thought he rejected you and your pregnancy. Why is he calling you now? And where do you think you're going? Look, I'm going to a lab. Jenny! Jenny! Cell! Casey in cell? What did he do? Eh? I don't have the details yet, but I think it's connected to a business that he did. <gasps> business? It's okay, Casey. I want him to be careful. Genevieve, eh? that's not the issue now. He needs to be released. They're asking for 60,000 naira. 60? Or else they will transfer him to Abuja tomorrow. They are hey. even taking him to a waiting trial straight. Oh, oh daddy. I could only raise 10,000 naira. I don't know if you can raise anything. Let's see if I can raise money. Oh, Shh. Daddy! It's okay, it's okay. Oh. People are looking at you. Can we? Can I see him? You know how this will behave. They didn't even allow me to stay with him. In fact, they're about torturing him now. Hi, God, God. Okay, you, you're still here? Yes. Okay, let, let me see if I can raise some money. I'll be right back. You're still here. I'll be here, just here. I'll give all I have for the one I love.
Then leave his in her in the house. The curtain moved. Wanted to torture you. Yeah, I, I must thank you for sending the money on time before they started. You know, I met some very terrible human beings in the cell, and they were the ones that really beat me up oh, so bad. God. Oh, my joints. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's what a man says. Huh? They want to kill my daddy for me. Okay, let me let me go and boil some hot water so I can massage your body. All right, huh? do that. Uh, let me lock up the car, okay? Okay. Thank Sorry, you, my yeah. love. Thank you. I'll be with you in a moment. Okay. Casey, don't you feel any remorse at all? How can you be doing this to a girl that loves you so much? I love will go sharp. So, sir, uh, the African trade paid in this. And, uh... You asked to see me, sir. Yes. Uh, Miss Rabobo, the accountant here said you took some money from the company's uh, account without the proper accounting procedure. But... True or false? Papa, accountant. But I told you that that money should be regarded as a salary advance and deducted from my salary. You agreed. Who? Me? Agreed? When did we discuss such a thing? Eh? It's all right, accountant. Miss Rapoko. You've been with this company close to three to four years. Yes, sir. And you know the policy of this office considering the issue of um, salary advance. We don't believe in it. And we don't practice it. Even if we do, that's a proper procedure. I'm sorry, sir. I, I needed the money urgently, please. That is no excuse. What you did is considered as stealing. I, I'm very sorry, sir. I used the money to solve a personal problem. That is not my business. Can you give me a reasonable reason why a disciplinary action should not be taken against you? I'm very sorry, sir. Please. It will never, never happen again. I swear. Is that your defense? Well, the management has viewed your action as stealing. We do not condone it here. I regret to inform you that your appointment has been terminated with immediate effect. Please, sir. Please, sir. I used that money to pay my fear. My husband, he had a police case. Please, sir. I will pay, I will pay it all back. I promise. Please, please, just give, give me a second chance, please. Accountant, sir, make sure she's thoroughly sad before she leaves the premises and inform the security. Sir, right. Excuse me. Okay. Sir, right. Please, please sir, please. Let's go. Accountant. Get up, let's go. You can see he's very busy. Please, let's go. Please, 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 sir. Go. You can come back later. Please, please. Go. please. Go. Go, 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 go. go. I will talk to you.
this happen? Just... Just hold me. Honey, I'm so sorry. Okay? It's gonna be alright. I love you. I love you, honey. What? But you told me she's your sister. Am I not talking to someone? Casey, I'm talking to you! Consent and uh, responsibility form. What does it mean? Yeah, it means that um, you give up your, your consent willingly without any compulsion and that you are responsible to whatever the outcome may be. By the grace of God, there won't be any problem. <laughs> okay, you see, it's just a standard practice and a mere formality. After all, we do carry out more than 20 abortions successfully every day. See her yet. But Genevieve doesn't work here anymore. Hmm. What? Oh. Why? She was sacked some days ago. Ah. Hmm. Oh, what did she do? Whoa, whoa. What happened? I found it's long and complicated. <laughs> Cut it short. It had to do with her taking money from the sales without her approval. Taking money? She took like 50,000 50,000? What did she need with that kind of money? What did she do with it? Hmm. Udoka. Udoka, talk to me. It's okay. Let me just tell you the truth. Um, her boyfriend claimed he had a police case. I needed 50,000 naira to pay. Uh -huh. Or he would be transferred to Abuja and put on a waiting trial list. Uh -huh. So there was no place to get the money from. So Genevieve just took the money from the safe. 
when they found out this actor. So, so, Make her take this as I've written on them. And once you get home, you can get this for her. And administer to her say an hour's time. Thank you, Doctor. Thank okay. you. Again, the dogs may have some side effects, like uh, vomiting and stuff like that. But I wouldn't want you to start panicking when you see her start vomiting intermittently over the next two hours. Okay? If any serious complication, you have my number just. Call me on the phone, okay? Thank you, Doctor. Fresh. Ah! Are you serious? Oh. Okay, don't worry, don't worry, honey. It's okay. It's gonna be alright, okay? Mm. okay? Okay. I'm just gonna get uh. the rest of the drops. Oh. Okay? Oh. Alright? Yeah. <laughs> 